Well, I kind of came on here this evening just to show you all a few things. And I know I've kind of told you all in some of my past most recent videos the little differences as far as how things are going right now social-wise. And this is a time when I just decided I'd come on here just to kind of do a little sewing for you all. Wanted to do that work and... Speaking of that, <coughs> before I turn this video on, I kind of forgot to fetch my goggles. So, well, I found them now. They're down there. So, kind of wanted to come on here today and to kind of let you all know some little things. And, well, I tell you, they're kind of coming a little undone at the elastic so we kind of gotta take a little care of that and get it in place there so we're gonna kind of get back into this work here so what I come kind of come to say is that this is some work that is going to be done on the saw right now what I've come to demonstrate right now is a little sawing I'm going to do. I would like to share, first of all, a little thing about these back-laying yoga posed bears. You saw me cut these blanks out in a previous bit video, but now I have drawn the lines on them, and these are the lines I am going to saw along to kind of, you know, to um, bring out the shape as to how they're going to be carved. I'm going to demonstrate something here. First of all, on the, for the one that is to the left side from the front, or maybe better yet, the right side of the bear, it is one where, first of all, we're going to cut along this line here, and then cut along this line here so that we can still have the front of the paw of the hand here. This is a thing I'm going to have to raise up a little bit so we can work with it a little better. Probably got it right to the shape it needs to be. So. just cut a little line along there. Now I'd say the next step is going to be to draw a line up from the front of the paw here and try to cut along that a little ways so it so that the body can go as far as up to the paw here. Y'all can see here that we try to leave some wood here so that we will have that extra piece of wood there to carve the paw out from, which is kind of three-dimensional from the body of the bear, from the legs and the side. And so this one is more to the left side of the bear, so we're going to do the same on this one and I kind of drew these lines a little pre-ways I kind of drew them a little too soon probably for the video kind of did it a little too fast that's probably why they don't go far enough but here is actually where the new line is that we're going to cut from
so we've kind of got the lines here where they need to be. I'm going to demonstrate next where I'm going to cut here up along the snout and leave a line here to kind of be where the shoulder is going to be. And as you've come to see, this is how far along I've come on this one. Since I've got some water in the fridge, I might need to take a little sip here. I tell you, I'm getting kind of thirsty here. I've been working in the cafeteria all day. So that was kind of how the work comes along here. I'm going to try to work on this next little one here and probably got the lines in about the right places here. Well, here is how I finally got the other one here to come along, and I'd say that this little work is going to be worth it in the long run. You can kind of see how the grain almost matches back here, but kind of more to the top. It's kind of different with each of these, but I've got some walnut ones to work on now. Those are going to be next, so 
I've got a little line to draw for it and surely we can kind of get things cut along that line there. Well, I come by just take a little moment here to show a little bit better how this walnut one came out. You can kind of see how the grain almost matches there and kind of matches out to the more to the top as well. And so we're going to kind of get a little bit more work going here. See how further along this can go and. I'd say we're going to kind of draw a line along this one as well, see where it goes, and kind of have a little line to draw along this one too, and see just how it is going to go and what it is going to do. So I'm going to try to cut these out each part at the same time here. And as you all can see, these have come out where even from the butt to the paw, they're kind of, I can kind of get them the shape they need to be. So there's going to be a little moment here. We're going to kind of also work on the front of the heads here.
Well, it turns out that one of these is going to have to be cut a little shorter down because the nose was a little too long and I cut too close to the end on one. Well, I'll tell you that what I've done here is I've come along, probably kind of got it along where the pole needs to be. That's about as far as I'm going to go on those today. But what I want to demonstrate today is how I took this piece of scrap and drew this dragon onto there. And kind of, you know, just drew it from my own creative ways of seeing things from what I saw. So... I'm going to kind of do a little demonstration as to how I cut the blank and how I cut it in half down the middle so that it comes out as two pieces. First of all, we've got little scraps we need to clean off the saw bed here. So that's what we're going to take care of at this moment. And now we're going to kind of go a little <coughs> further along to take care of this. You can sort of see where I've carved along on this line here to make the snout of the dragon. Now it's time to kind of cut along the back of the ears here.
as you all see here, I kind of got the front of the mouth and the front of the legs and the tip of the front toe. So now it's time to cut out this little piece in the middle. And that is the part that separates its legs, but next there's going to come the time to cut out the part that is between the back of the legs and the tail. And finally, I got the two little blanks for dragons cut out here. I'd say that it would probably be a good idea at this moment to kind of close things up. And I've already gotten, while I was getting ready to record this, my last two videos in links posted to my Facebook pages to Jonathan's Nature Crafts and Jonathan's Exotic Wood Carving and Porography. So this little time I come on just to say that I think we're kind of done with as much work as we need to be and about time we can kind of put this little work to an end. So, so long. See you all later.